and we're looking forward to those two fighters have been on each other's case. We saw it earlier on one of the series of Go TV Boxing, and it was edged by Orlando Su, maybe a bit controversially, and we're here to see uh, justice done this time around. That fight is coming up next on your World of Champions Africa. Are you ready for the main event of the night? Let's get into the ring for the box out to record out. Big one on our hands here. Ladies and gentlemen, seventh and final bout of Go TV Boxing Night 21, the lockdown edition, is an eight round national lightweight challenge in the blue corner. Prince Lion! Whoa, yeah! The Prince Lion Warrior, the fighting policeman. Uh, this is one of the police officers that are fight boxing in Nigeria. Prince Mwoye making his way into the ring. Usually you have uh, many police officers behind him, but not this time. And not this time. We all know the reason for that. We have to follow the protocol uh, for COVID-19 spelled out by the Presidential Task Force. And uh, it's, a, it, it's a delight that we're here. Uh, I mean, this is what we know how to do, which is a top boxing. And, uh, you know, look out for this fight. But we have been heavily hampered. This year we're supposed to have four editions of Go TV Boxing Night. And uh, this is just the only one we've been able to manage to run. When you look at the fact that this one was actually scheduled for April the 12th, and before it was scheduled, by now we would have been talking about uh, Go TV Boxing Night 24. Absolutely. And about. Absolutely. But then, of course, we're, we're still here after the pandemic that took out the whole globe. But we're still here standing, and we can always give glory to the man out there. Into the ring we go now. In the red corner, real one, the real one, Oladosu. This man, many people have seen here, have is the future of Nigerian boxing. Real one, real one, Oladosu. This man comes in with um, energy flowing all over. Flurry of punches, the pace, everything you want to look at, at, at a prospect after you are boxing. He comes in with it. He's got everything uh, a, a good boxer should have. Footwork, you know, trickery, cunningness, everything. Just talk about it. Killer punches. Being able to take out your opponent. He's the boxer. Uh, it's, it's what you call a proper showman. Welcome into the ring, the national and West African champion. In the blue corner, he weighed in at 61.2 kilograms. He's had seven fights, one four, lost two, two drew one, four by knockout. Prince. The Lion Warrior! In the red corner, he weighed in at 60 kilograms. He's had 13 fights. Won all 13. Six. On knockout, real one, the real one, all oh, us Our judges are Shay George, Femi Baba Femi, and Wahab Martins. Our referee is Shegu Adesoya. Yes. I am Shegu Adesoya, the third man in the ring. You obey all my commands and protect yourself always. 
Remember, any fouls committed shall be penalized. The seconds have the right to throw in the tower if you have any problem. You greet yourself at the beginning of the first round and at the beginning of the last round. System set to go here for the main event of the night. It is a rematch of uh, a lightweight contest. Eight rounds of boxing. Both boxers the first met at Go TV Boxing Night 15, and that was in 2016. And uh, since then, two boxers have uh, been busy. Now, I'll tell you something. When the first, when the two boxers first met in 2016, it was only the second fight for real one Oladusu, and it was the third fight for Moye. Forward to 2020, and Oladusu has fought 13 times, and Moye has only fought seven times. I mean, so Moye has not been as busy as Oladusu. As Oladusu. Hence, uh, the, the, you can see the difference in. Oladosu uh, you know, owning the West African uh, title. And Oladosu has had a, a couple of other fights that were not recorded, you know. And so it tells you how busy the man has uh, been if since 2016. to actually uh, get some fights as well. And I tell you, um, when it's uh, go to be boxing, 921 was uh, scheduled earlier, but April the, 20, uh, the 12th, he would have been facing, he would have faced rather, the man of party of Ghana for the WBF Africa title. So maybe that will still come. Maybe in 2021, they will still have to go for the WBF title. Absolutely. You know what has happened. Because he's the number one contender for that one. So he should have played it. And if, if it wasn't for the COVID-19, that fight would have gone on. And since then, we have not had a real that WBF uh, uh, like with uh, title challenge. So yeah, that's why Stop. I said it is fine. It, it, it will still come. Absolutely. Definitely. But this round of a shadowed uh, eight. These two guys know themselves very well, Ralph. Side out. Absolutely. Good. We, we can always trust Omoye, who's got fantastic uh, upper body movement. Uh, head movement is just the heart of this world. You know, what I, I, I keep talking about is uh, footwork always reminds me of uh, Mani Pacquiao. The kind of, you know, sometimes when he jumps to that uh, um, hopping, the kind of uh, way. I, I, it see. reminds me of Joe Fraser sometimes. You know that busy shoulder? Uh, you know, dropping the shoulder on the side and all this uh, shimmy stuff. And you see uh, Joe Fritz do, even though <laughs> at the end of the day he was caught by Mohamed Ali. Uh, we're not trying to compare him no, to absolutely any of these not. Absolutely not. Absolutely. absolutely not. These guys are nowhere near. Don't get them twisted. No, no, no. I'm not the bunch. I'm not the bunch. <laughs> all right, back into the rope square now. We are, of course, at Umoye. And uh, in white uh, with uh, gold and uh, dark blue trimmings here and there. That's the colors of the match races, most exactly. And of course, uh, the West African champion clad in uh, green and white. And this to be said that this is not a title challenge. It's just a national lightweight challenge. It's a, it's, a, it's a sport that needs to be settled. Both fights as the first fought in December 2016. And it was only real ones a second bout, I did say. It's been very busy. Last fought Eric Kwam of Ghana and won via UD on 28 of December 2019. In defense of his West African title, successfully defended on that day. First round gone by here. You, you can expect a typical of um, Gladusu to come out. Um, Fire fighting in the second round. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he always takes the first round to assess his opponent. But like you said earlier, this is an opponent he knows already. And uh, to be honest, it was actually Prince Lion Mori, who's got a big hat, just like the Lion, uh, who actually was off the box. And uh, towards the end of the first round, the real one, Alanus, who came up strong. But like you said, you would expect him to be the one to come back stronger uh, in this second round. But we know Lion Mori, he's got a big hat. It's going to take a whole lot to try to stop this guy within the distance. Most definitely. We've seen three fights uh, end in the second round. Go TV Boxing 921. This is the second round of uh, this bout. It's a rematch. Famoye, Lion against Real One. That's a good 
what a combination coming from. Big body punch there. That's what you know him to do. Ademoye will come out. He needs to fight his way out of that corner. He's been get caught to that those corner. Are, those are big, big body punches there coming from Aladusu. Mm. Oh, big one there. Big counter punch. But like I said, this is a man that's got a big heart. He's going to take a whole lot of punch. A serious, powerful punch to take out Prince Lion away. He's truly a lion, I must say. Ladus who landed that one with military precision. <laughs> military precision. It was big. That looked like a, a stealth missile. Trying to penetrate the guard of uh, Ladosu. And, and if there's anything at all, these two boxers have got respect, mutual respect for each other. You see them, they take turns. You know, they know that they can't afford to go all the way and burn out your energy. If you try to knock out somebody, it doesn't work. You better retreat and try and get your energy back, or else the guy will come out of that uh, corner situation and probably make you pay for it. Totally agree with you. Good left uh, from uh, Lyon. Not seen, not seen a lot of what uh, Oladosu likes to use a lot, which is that uh, right jab. And we're not seeing a whole lot of it. He seems to be stronger with his uh, left shot. Uh, he seems more of like a southpaw. And uh, we know his right jabs to be very busy. But yeah. oh, big right, big one there again. Catches his opponent. Can he? Big Glory body of body punches, punches again. Uh, Oladosu there. A good oh. defense. Absolute good defense coming from Moye, who's using that head movement once again. And it's like they're taking turns in battering each other. Oh, another big left again. Moya needs to watch out for that quick left. Moya needs to watch out. He's giving Oladosu. Oladosu is not a man you can allow to do all this to you. Oh, he's taking him out. You can see Moya coming as well. Break! Break! And they clinch. <laughs> uh, that's not a very good one there coming from the uh, f uh, boxers there. And they definitely deserve to be won there. Uh, you saw um, Oladosu trying to unnecessarily lean on his opponent. And you saw Moye throwing an, uh, a shoulder in the face of Oladosu there, which could actually uh, cost him a, a, a whole lot of cuts there. End of the first round. Very busy round it was. At the end of the second round, I should say, we're going into the third round. Again, absolute boxing we're seeing here, skills, resilience, and uh, everything that makes a boxing bout absolutely great. Like we said earlier, it's the main event of the night, and it is a grudge, grudge, grudge fight here. Earlier on, uh, in one of the earlier series of the Gold TV Boxing, it was actually uh, that man, uh, real one, the uh, Oladus, who, who actually I want it. it could have gone either way, but Ladus got it. But now, are we going to see a third one? Because uh, if this goes the way of Chris Lyon, we might be looking at another third one. Uh, definitely. Uh, I want to see that though. That is if unless Lyon unless that unless Ladus is able to get this decisive. Do you actually believe Lyon can inflict? Uh, of course, um, absolutely think so. But best defeat of Ladus's career. I think so, but. But you also have to look at the kind of experience I, I and don't skills think so. that Oladosu has got. I don't think so. I think he knows danger when he sees it, so he's always able to dance away from it. So it's going to be difficult. But if there's anybody who can do it, I think Prince Lion, I'm talking about Nigerian context now, Prince Lion has uh, the wherewithal to do it. Good body 
punch, and he, he seems to be making use of that body punch, uh, talking about uh, Olado, so, and he's, he's scoring those punches a lot. I mean, he, he's trying to, trying to tease uh, Moye, goes to the belly, uh, the, uh, the body shot, Moye tries to stop himself there. That, that, that looked like rugby for him. And that could really be a major one there, because he slammed on the, on the canvas very hard there. But I also have dug his um, oh, bounces back like a cat. <laughs> but you know Alado, so you know the way he likes to do things in a spectacular fashion. I, I, I thought he dug his uh, knee to his uh, stomach, but then. Um, oh, you thought more your dog is knee? To I, that's what I thought. Oh, that, yeah, I, that I think you're right. I think you're definitely one point right with that. Ducks from uh, Moye. It's a, it's a points deduction coming from uh, experienced referee Shekwa Adesoya. That was uh, the way he wrestled his opening down. He's calling for a timeout. Well, and then it's, oh uh, uh, yeah, we could see from the uh, playback there. That could also change the complexion of the fight because uh, this could actually bring out some sort of uh, anger from Orlando uh, Sura and it could also make him a bit withdrawn. Uh, that was that acrobatic. Uh, Getting off from uh, Olado Su. Remarkable. <laughs> Remarkable, yeah, after you just got uh, one into the into the abdomen. But he punches again and he connects with a good left and right combination talking about Olado Su. I think this is what this is the problem that Moya has always had. He doesn't always have the ability to catch Olado Su absolutely well. I mean he's a very strong and uh, durable fighter. But he, oh no, no, oh! <laughs> that bell definitely saved the warrior there because I saw that connection coming. And uh, Orlando so had to had to pull back that uh, his uh, lethal in south in one. left run. <laughs> Good way to end that around. Also scores a, a, a quick, counter point. Yeah, quite counter right there. They have uh, that um, like um, monkey style, snake in the monkey of, shadow uh, the style. Kung Fu movies. Encouraging now Moye to come through and he's trying to do some defensive boxing there. Oh, and he catches him with a good uppercut there, but then the referee quickly steps in. Uh, some quick combinations there, but uh, very well fended off there by Aladosu. And uh, like we said, things have gone a bit quiet here right now. And uh, Aladosu 
rolling his uh, fists and he catches Moya with an, another left. And, and that's the problem you fight, you have, uh, Ralph, when you're fighting a southpaw. You don't know where the punch is going to come from. Naturally, your head as a, a right-handed fighter is to look out for that right hand. But it does take a whole lot of attention for you to remember all the time that you're fighting a southpaw. Exactly, and that punch just simply took the wind off the sail uh, because of Emoye because he was trying to come in with a right and that uh, uh, left just kept in at bay. He didn't even see that punch come. Not come close. Try some of the combinations there and that's where I have issues with Emoye. You see him being caught twice now. You know, he tries all these uh, combination punches. Right. It just looks like he just wants to worry the opponent, not really trying to really land telling punches. And then he, he tries those three, four combinations and steps back. And that doesn't worry real one. Real one really wants a punch that would really rock him. And he just tries those punches and walks back. And then you see a lot of those coming back again. Okay. And the rounds are going thick and fast. Fourth round gone by, halfway mark gone by. Into the fifth round. You ask me, I think uh, I think a has taken all the four rounds so far. Absolutely. He's gonna have to do a whole lot in the remaining four rounds to try and do something. I mean we can see the replay we here once again. And uh oh, you did a whole lot of uh, you know, head movement there to wriggle away from those very deadly combinations south for the real one of the Fifth round. Buck. It's about a shadow for eight. Back to the fifth. Mutual respect. Another round, 
comments there. And that's a different one. I, I think that's a difficult, difficult one to call this time around. I don't know how to put it. Uh, I think he could have done it either way for both boxes. I think I'm tempted to give it to Moye because um, he, he did a whole lot in that round. It was all over the place. Only, that was, yeah, all over him. That is only came out in the ninth stage of the round. That was the fifth round. We're going to see the sixth round. Sixth round. Marusu is the national and West African champion. Beating in 13 fights. Coming into this fight, there will see coming by weight of knockouts. how the punches that uh, comes from Oladusu uh, we've not seen totally what he's capable of doing what we know him to do the volume of punches that he, he throws uh, well I, yeah I think in a, in a way yes that might have affected it but at the same time I also look at it from the fact that 2016 this man knows that he just uh, barely skipped through that fight and he knows that uh, Moye is a very durable fighter it's not a kind of Punch, uh, fighter you just come up against and Bruh. you land all the punches and think he's gonna just go out like that. It's durable. So I think he's he's not ready to take any risks. He knows how quick uh, his combinations are as well. He could get caught at any point in time. And I, I, I think that's a bit, big kudos to him. He knows he's the champion and he also feels that there's always a limit to how much your uh, arrogance or your aggression can go. Yeah, just look at the good good job there. Good job there for him. But he defended his West African title against a requirement of Ghana. Um, it, it was all over that opponent from start until he finished him off. Another good job again. Two fantastic jabs coming from Aladus, who, who already knows now that he can keep picking uh, Moye up. He tries to go uh, for the uh, body shots there. And good job also coming from Moye, who's uh, sticking his hands out, saying, That's not me clinching there. And I totally agree with him. You should be very careful. That also disguises that very lethal left uh, shots very well. Keeps throwing the point, the right punches. So you keep thinking the point, the right punches are coming. And there you go again with that left. It's almost landed one uh, to the tempo. Right? Again, you have it again. Right. He's doing very well talking about Oladosu during the clinch situation. Right. You see him throwing those punches like you said earlier, especially with his uh, stronger. <laughs> and Uwe, you're trying to describe the situation to the referee there, but Tiago Adesoya would not have any of it at all. Round of the Shadow Eight. Let's 
International Lightweight Challenge Contest between Lion and Moye, who actually came out uh, of the blocks better. He's uh, gone back to his uh, shaking head, shimmy stuff. And uh, obviously, I think Oladosu's camp have told him that you're definitely clearly in the lead. All you need to do is keep yourself safe and put yourself in trouble. And that's exactly what uh, Oladosu is trying to do. Trying to lure uh, Uwe out of his uh, guard by going for body punches. Connects there with that, and that left once again. Breaking that guard of Uwe. Body punch again. Oh, brilliant combination. A good counter by Uwe. Good, good, good combinations there by Uwe. Not uh, strong enough to work out on a discipline. opens uh, it up. Seems to be a lot, but then it decided to go fire in there. And that's what uh, Aladus is known about. Ralph Royal know him several times. It looks like everything is quiet, but all of a sudden he could release a flurry of six punches that could be very deadly. outside the uh, main arena here. And uh, that was a very good opportunity. And another right jab there, but uh, Moye rides the storm. Great evasion from Moye there. It just reminds me of a surfer who's, uh, you know, trying to surf and uh, ride through the waves. Mm. Moye goes for an uppercut there, but it didn't connect. It doesn't possess that kind of a cross, that uh, big punch that you yeah, think you take out your opponent and a fight for him. He doesn't have those haymakers. He doesn't have it. absolutely not. Absolutely not. Or should we say that Orlando who has enough stamina to withstand him? No, I've seen him. I've seen almost all, all his fights, and I've not seen him. He's not a he's knockout not. specialist per se, but he's a, he's a boxing artist who would probably beat you up. By, by unanimous. When you, look, when you look at the fact that his three fights that he won, he won three fights and lost three fights. All the three fights he won came by knockout. So that's interesting. It's interesting. But could it be the quality of the opposition as well? The quality of the opposition. He doesn't have that power punch that can end. Who you lost? Who you lost earlier to uh, Otto Joseph as well? Lost to Otto Joseph. Lost to all to the big boxers that he has fought. Okay. So he needs to find that. Uh, Winning the formula against the big boys. Final round of Bro. this uh, challenge contest. Let's see how explosive the final round will be. Look at the water dripping from Orlando Su's uh, trunk. Moye needs to do something about the odd, lovely party punch there. He needs to protect himself. Uh, he's I think Moye is mindful of the fact that Olados is a southpaw, so he feels that he has to race that right hand to protect his face. But he's also leaving himself open when it comes to the right jab, which uh, Olados uh, 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 executes quite well. You know, he's not that kind of a defensive boxer. You see that jab coming in again from the right, and he's not protecting himself. I think he trusts his uh, head movement and a lot. But uh, Olados is scoring the points. There you go with that jab again, connected to the side of the draw. Another one again. 
Anderson needs to be careful too. Absolutely, absolutely. It's time for him to run into a punch. Maybe a lights out. Punch. A lights out punch. <laughs> but I don't see that happening, like I said earlier. He'll be very lucky for him, uh, because he's not throwing those kind of punches. He's more of a jab, stick and move kind of person. Ladus who seems to always set up for that uh, south or punch coming through. I think he knows that he has this one under his belt now, so he needs to just um, just pick his mouth. So stick and move, stick and move. So he need to stand here and get caught. So stick and move to end the round. And the best thing for him to do is try and lure Moye in uh, with the reach and get him. Over. There you have it again. Moye is complaining too much. I think there was nothing wrong with that referee. He didn't even see anything as well. Uh, he, sh he should concentrate more on the fight. That's why the referee didn't pay any attention. He didn't pay attention to him. And that's that job again. Gets himself against the body punch. Talking about lying away. But he needs to do something if he's going to win this fight. He's definitely way behind on the scorecards. You see him, you know, picking up, getting, you know, hit by jabs coming from Oladus, who knows that he has to keep him busy. Down to the... Oh, two big one there, two big jabs again. Another one there coming from Oladus. The seconds are winding down. It's almost, almost a done deal. Ten seconds separating those two right. fighters. And I think... I, I think it definitely on the cards. Oh, and uh, I guess I was just about to give a warning there. But I think this is done and busted. I think this settles it finally. But we wait for the official. I think it's a lot of two. Activity double over the policeman. Oh, yeah. And speaking of our best boxer on the night, I think a lot of is a good contender after winning this one. I look at that uh, young man, Oladichi, and um, Ige. Ige, I mean, that was, this might just get it. I think Ige gets it for me. Uh, I think Oladichi. Okay. We'll see. If he gets this, which I feel that he will, because, because they are both very formidable opposition. I think even those that um, the voters uh, might tend to go the way of that young man. Yeah, because they are they, they are new kids on the block, so they need some sort of encouragement. I, I would like to see that young man. I get it. Okay, for encouraging purpose. But we'll wait. We'll wait for you. But just to remind you that the best boxer for the night will go home with the Mojisola Ogusoya Memorial Trophy and a cash prize of one million naira. Now to the winner of this bout, George Abdul Wahab Martins scores it 79. 74 George Femi Baba Femi scores it 71 80 George Shei George 
scores it 79-73. Winner by unanimous decision. Real one, the real deal. Oh, and there you have it. Uh, I think Ralph and I knew that that was going to happen, but uh, you gotta give your uh, take your hat off uh, to that man, Prince Lion for you. And I think this uh, settles it once and for all. No price for getting the win. Well done. For the best boxer. Go TV Boxing Night 21, the Lockdown Edition, is DG Lego State Sports Council. Gafar, Oluwatoi, Bolo Wotan, accompanied by the PR manager of Go TV, the delectable Miss Uko. Jennifer Uko. Best boxer. Go TV Boxing Night 21. The Lockdown Edition. Goes home, like I said earlier, with the Mojisola Ogusoya Memorial Trophy and a cash prize of 1 million naira. Winner. Real one. The real day. Babyface becomes a millionaire tonight. Cutsy of the Mojisola Obusoya Trophy. And the one million naira he takes home is Go TV Boxing Night 21. The biggest boxing show in Africa. Baby, baby, baby face millionaire. And the real deal is joining him. The real deal is joining him.